sharks and alligators. And he said, no, I didn't see the signs. Now, these girls, they, these chicks were slick. They brought him a route where he wouldn't see these signs. And the brother told him, white people always bring black people here and feed them to the sharks and alligators. Pay attention to where the hell you're going. And the brother, this happened to him when he was about 17, 18 years old. He never told that story to anybody until he mentioned it to me. And I think he's in his 40s. He was just so embarrassed about it. And I'm saying that to say, don't always believe because someone tells you that someone is superior or, or because someone looks nice and acts sweet that they are. There's a sister once, I don't know her, um, I know somebody that knew her, and uh, she was dating this European dude. And I don't know if they were married or what the case may be, but they had some kind of crazy relationship. She had issues and was on medication. I guess he had issues and was on a medica medication. And the brother kept telling her, man, you, 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 you shouldn't even keep dealing with this dude because there's something not right about him. And she was like, well, I love him kind of thing. And she went off with him somewhere. And at some point, her people couldn't reach her and they couldn't get a hold of her, so they wanted to know what was going on. And they actually found that sister cut up in little body parts, kind of like this little boy, this little 8-year-old um, Hasidic Jew today in the freezer. They found this sister cut up in a closet in little pieces. And this fool was living in the house with her ass in there like that, sticking up the damn joint. Just like them two brothers, I know of three, but two that got one got drugged behind a truck by his so-called white friends that were drunk. One got drugged to his death underneath a car by his so-called white friends who had been drinking, and they may or may not have been drunk. He was in the car. Homie was driving. The dude and his girl were driving, and a brother was like, hey, man, you know, can you chill on how you driving, dude? And he was like, you know, I, mean, you know, I guess I, I don't know what set this dude off. Or with these people, it don't take much to set him off. He said, you know what, man, just let me out. I'm, I'm going to walk or call a cab or take the bus or something. He got out. His damn friend ran his ass over and drug him beneath the car to his death. Just like I told you about a brother I knew in college that went up the Butte, uh, what was this called? Some place that they went swimming, uh, inner tubing. I think it was Butte River in the Sacramento area up Chico, northern Butte County, northern California, north of, uh, north of Sacramento. He went up with a handful of European so-called friends, this one brother and a bunch of so-called European friends. When they came down off that mountain, that brother wasn't with them. People were like, what happened to the brother? Where's the brother? Now, nobody knew who these people were, you know, because, you know, our people, we always so busy trying to, prove to other people that we're real, too, and we're people, too, and, you know, the brother man always want to prove to the other man, man, I'm a man. You don't need to prove shit to nobody. You want to prove something, prove it to yourself. You are here to personal best yourself. You are not here to compete with nobody else or prove nothing to nobody else. That's something the Europeans have yet to learn, that that's not what the hell you're here for. But maybe that is what they're here for. If they're killers, they're on some destruction shit, that might be exactly all they're here for. And I'm sure it ain't every single one of them. I submit it's probably not every single blonde-haired, pale-skinned person because my sister's not like that, so I have to assume there are other people that are not like that. But then again, their mother was also, she had black hair. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, this brother, they came down off this hill without this brother, and about a week later they found this brother dead at the bottom of the damn hill, uh, uh, river somewhere. I submit to you the motherfuckers killed him up there. Excuse my language. There I go. I submit to you they killed him up there and just left him there. You know, it's like this. Uh, the so-called Talmud says you can kill anybody if you're a so-called Jew, whatever the hell that is, and you don't do no time, and you don't, you don't get conviction for that. And I submit the same thing holds for so, what so-called white people are. They can do whatever the hell they want when it comes to us, and they get, and get away with it. But this is the problem. But see, condoning this kind of behavior results in things like their own little children coming up missing like ours come up missing. And I submit that that is not the only person. This little eight-year-old boy that was found in the freezer today, a lot of children come up missing like that. That is my objective. We need to try to do something about the, the children of the planet. Now, don't nobody care about children, and you don't even need to listen to me talk because that's really all I'm talking about. It ain't about color, it ain't about race, but people use color and race 
to get everybody tripped off down the path of misinformation and confusion and misunderstanding while they're after everybody's children. And they don't care what race of children or what color. Whatever happened to that boy, happened to have them, all them children coming up in, in Haiti, I guarantee most of them are being sold into these rings, tortured, tormented, eaten, raped, molested, uh, snuffed out in snuff films somewhere. You've got to understand how these people operate. This is what they were doing in Europe to their own damn children. They don't care about children. The ancient Greeks' child molestation was they get that they whole damn get down. Or maybe not ancient Greeks. Whatever these Greek people are, that is their culture. Pedophilia and you know and 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 sex with animals. That's their shit. Not only is it their culture. Back in the day, men that were wanted to pursue a boy. They would pay the family. They would court the family. Like, I'm the best man suited to mentor your son. I can afford him better, and I can raise him up better, and I can bring him into this thing, that thing, and that the other thing, and I'm the head of this organization, that organization. He'll, come, he'll become most successful and get the furthest in life with me. I should be the man to break him in. And whoever impressed the family the most, whatever man impressed the family the most, that is the man that got to break in their son. That's their damn culture. It was always, it was all about wooing the boys. It's probably why the Pope went back uh, at the end of last year to finally, after all these years, hook up with, uh, 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 go back and try to meet with the, pe the heads of England. Why? Well, they're finally getting rid of all these female rulers. Here comes King William, uh, Prince William. They're in the boys. Here comes Prince William. It's like, okay, now let's see if we can, you know, unify our objectives with, with this, these objectives. I submit to you, the people that are at the head of the world, it ain't even about color. You're just talking about an organization of criminals. That's all they are, and they've infiltrated everything, you know. So, you know, my brothers who started out as some very honorable people are starting to get lost trying to keep up with something or somebody that ain't them at all. And uh, somebody wanted me to go over some stuff. <laughs> about the uh, energy and the energy balls. and Oh, I do know one thing I need to clarify for, um, for um, some listeners. If one listener thought this, probably multiple listeners thought this. When I said Brother Eaton got out there and he did, you know, his do re mis and he did them as a string of uh, one sound or another for um, a particular chakra, and I said, you know, instead of doing the whole psychic chord, because, you know, most people do do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, which locks you back in the root chakra, for, to tune up their vocal chords. When you do the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, si, the way I'm suggesting that you do it, that is to tune up your psychic chord or your, uh, uh, yeah, psychic chord. But this brother, when he does his, because he's at this point now, he's over 75 uh, mantras per chakra. I said, you know, instead of going do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, si, I said he goes do, 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 do. One of the listeners thought that you take in a deep breath and then you just, on that one breath, you go do, 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 do. No, that's not what I meant. He takes in a deep breath and he holds that out and does do until he expels all the breath. Then he takes in another deep breath and he does do again until he expels all the breath. Then he takes in another deep breath, and he expels all the breath again, still on do, until he does 75 do's. Then he does 75 rays, and then 75 me's. You know what I'm saying? I still submit that unless you have the total privacy that he has, that you not do that, because uh, you can lose track of where you are, lose track of your account. Uh, I suggest that you look into buying an abacus, spelled A-B-A-C-U-S, um, and so you can keep count, see if you can get them in the rainbow colors, or make your own. Um, and have the colors that go with the chakras so you can keep track of where you are if you're going to try to uh, get to where he is. And he's, he's gotten so powerful it's, now, it's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. We didn't even tell you guys a fraction of the things that he can do. Um, there was a sister that wanted me to go over something today, and I did go over it with her on the phone, but gosh knows I cannot remember what it was I said. Honestly, I can't recall. Um... I don't think I have enough time on this show. We have one any, caller, Yapa. Bring the caller in. 
three one eight eight or one, you're on the live. I can't recall. Three one eight. Uh, I don't think I have enough time on the show. Yeah, what are you Well, I just okay. cut some more because they're not. Yeah. Okay. Well, we probably didn't have a caller. Um, hey. I don't. Hi. Oh. How are you? I'm doing fine. Great. Actually, uh, I was just listening in. Oh, okay. Well, now that you're in, do you want to ask me anything? Oh. I actually just I actually just got here maybe about five minutes ago. Let me turn that. Oh down. wow, you've missed everything. Yeah, I just <laughs> I, I, I I actually just got off of work and and decided to turn you on. And uh, you know, normally I catch you in the archives because I know you know I work so late. But um, but I just happened to just you know pop in just kind of a divine moment, I guess you know. Okay. Well, thank I you for listening. Normally, I don't call it. in, but. Oh, no, no, thank you, thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, we're listening. You're welcome. Um, I don't think I have enough time in 20 minutes or 15 minutes, and my bad, you guys, absolve me for getting on a rant. But, you know, anytime somebody calls me and starts telling me about the dead and murdered children, I mean, seriously, I wouldn't give a shit if it was the head of a Ku Klux Klan wizard child found in a free... I just have a problem with it, because I still say... The children, for the most part, if you leave them the hell alone and you don't poison them with your bullshit, they will figure out on their own whether or not they like so-called white people or so-called black people. They will figure out on their own whether or not they're so-called gay or so-called straight. It's grown-ups screwing them up that is creating a problem, and that's what's destroying the whole damn planet. So whenever I hear about how some child has suffered or was tormented and tortured. And, you know, I know it goes on every single day, probably every minute of every day, somewhere near you, probably in your building or on your block, some child is being tormented by somebody that may or may not even be somebody that they know at all. And I just, I, I, I just have a problem with it. I just don't like it. So, And I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm doing all these speaks and all this, this stuff to wake everybody up, one, to get people off of their superiority trips, because that's some bullshit, and I'm trying to get people off of their inferiority trips, because that's some bullshit, and I'm trying to get people off of this whole black, white, rich, poor, Jew, whatever, nigger, whatever shit they're on, because the children are in trouble. I mean, you know, even if you don't like children, well, hell, you used to be one. And some of you, as children, have been tormented by somebody that had no business anywhere near you. Some grown-up teacher, so-called white, calling you a nigger at five years old, or some grown-up priest, whatever race or color, molesting you as a choir boy or whatever the hell the case may be, or somebody that your mom sent you there to help out or to work, oh, go help minister pastor so-and-so. I, I care about the children, and anybody that don't, I don't care about you. And I'm saying let's raise the frequency. I'm saying let's get the grid up. I'm saying if we can't fix this mess, you need to have another door out of here. I've, I made the mistake of calling it a back door. One, one of my listen, listeners in Deutschland, she was like, I ain't going out the back door. I'm going out the front door. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's right. I probably should have said alternate door. I'm just saying if we cannot resolve what's going on here, when you have the heads of the, 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 internet, the, heads of the banks that are all inbred through incest, which means you're crazy, and you have the head of the Vatican, which is God on earth, his majesty, the, the heavenly father, Lord Jesus Christ, the Pope, saying that child... Uh, pornography is normal and pedophilia and sex with children is normal, and you have the you you know and you have the European Union who is basically heading the whole damn world for the most part, except this little handful of people, these little five last countries they're trying to get, and they need the United States and the U the UN to help them subdue these other ones that are like we ain't trying to do what y'all are doing. They don't even know how to leave people the hell alone. But you got 